to remind everyone that make sure your cell phones are off or on the vibrate position and please advise that our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast 99, AT&T, UVerse, and the City of Gaston YouTube channel. Uh, this meeting of the Gaston City Council will uh, now come to order. The chair will call on City Clerk Alvin Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolles. Here. Uh, Councilman Williams and Councilman Worthy are absent today. Councilman Back. Here. Wilson. Here. Cannon. Here. And Reed. Here. We do have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Heath Williamson to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the blessings. Father, we thank you for this week of Thanksgiving and just the ability to Carry through that holiday, Father, with friends and family or uh, neighbors, co-workers, whoever's around us, Lord. We just give you thanks, Father. Thank you for salvation most of all. Thank you for the ability to serve in this city, Father. I pray for this council, this mayor, administration, and staff, Father. I pray that you grant us all your wonderful and perfect wisdom, guidance, knowledge, and discernment. Let us know your will and do your will in all things. And please you always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and council meeting that was held November the 13th. So move. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payments of accounts for the week of November 9th through the 15th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamation. I do have a proclamation today with Vicki Lister and others from the Planning Commission come up. I don't have any other names. <laughs> I know some of the faces. Thank Whereas the community Thanksgiving celebration was started in 1998 as a small ministry of New Liberty Baptist Church and Community Development 2000 in East Gazin to serve a Thanksgiving meal to anyone in need. Since its beginning 20 years ago, community Thanksgiving celebration has served or delivered approximately 50,874 Thanksgiving meals to the citizens of Gazin and throughout Etowah County. Over 5,700 citizens of Gas and Etowah County have volunteered their time and energy to prepare Thanksgiving meals for those in need. Whereas all the funds needed to feed the uh, approximately 6,000 citizens expected this year are donated by the churches, businesses, and individuals. <clears throat> Whereas the unwavering support of the mayor and the city council, the Gas and City Council members and members and many employees of the city continue to make the community Thanksgiving celebration possible each year. Therefore, I, Sherman Guyton, Mayor of the City of Gaz, and along with the City Council members, do hereby proclaim November 7, 2018, Community Thanksgiving Celebration. In witness thereof, I have set my hand unto this seal of the City of Gaz on the 20th day of November, the year of our Lord, 2018. I just I want to thank y'all. We are at the venue this year, and already it's an incredible place to be, and we're thrilled. And also, um, last year we served 5,225 plates, and we had 968 volunteers, which I think is incredible and speaks to the heart of our community in Gadsden and throughout Etowah County. And it's um, it continues to grow, and I hope 
If y'all don't have plans for Thanksgiving, you'll join us. You can come and serve or come and eat. It's delicious. It's, it's a very traditional meal, and we'll be there from 10 to 2. And thank you for this. Our next item, uh, this is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of an ordinance rezoning property located at Anita Lane, which is off Highway 77 from I-1 Light Industry District to B-2 General Business District. The owner, Wayne Grissom, has requested re the rezoning of the 9.2 acre tract to sell four acres to a Presswick company for a 56-unit multi-family housing development. The remainder of the track would be used for future commercial development. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the rezoning. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? If you give us your name and address. Sure. Uh, my name is Casey Craven with Presswick Development Company. Uh, I'll be brief and can answer any specific questions you guys have. But um, just a quick overview of Presswick. We're a multifamily developer. Uh, we were established in 2008. Uh, we've completed about 35 uh, similar developments uh, since then. Uh, similar size, scope, and, and quality is the one uh, we would like to bring to Gadsden. Um, we're based out of Atlanta. Uh, but we uh, own properties throughout Georgia, South Carolina, and we've got a few out in Texas. Uh, we're excited to, to be in the Gaston community. Um, this development will be, like you said, 56 units on, on the uh, lower four acres of the total nine-acre track. Uh, the, the top third of the, of the nine acres is already zoned B2. Um, so we just request that the remaining site gets uh, rezoned as B2 as well. Okay. If anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer any specifics. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, I have one. Have, have your company looked at other areas in the Gaston area? We're always in need of uh, multifamily uh, housing since we are, our housing is old and we're needing new housing. But have your company or your development company looked at other areas in the Gaston area? Uh, we have. Um, uh, we've been uh, working with uh, Philip a little bit on um, some sites that, that he may have around. So, yeah, we're, we've been looking around. But, yeah, this is the, the first one we'd like to move forward with. I have a question. What's your, what's your timeline on this project? So um, we would close on the land. Um, so, so we have federal financing on this project. Uh, we submit an application to the state in February. Uh, we hear back if, if we get uh, that financing in June, we would close on the land. Define federal financing. So it's through the um, tax credit program. And so it's an in, a new market tax credit? It's not new market. It's okay. a low-income housing tax credit. Okay, gotcha. Yep. And so um, uh, we find out if we get those awards in June, we'd close on the land in December, uh, start construction the next day, basically, and that would be about a 12-month, 14-month process, and we would lease up uh, directly after that. So, Gotcha. Thank you. I just welcome you to District 6 and guest, and it's always been said that uh, I have a lot of houses tore down in District 6. It's abated, you know. And this just goes to show you that if uh, somebody puts their mind to it, like the Grissoms, they're good people, and they want to see this city thrive and develop. And I appreciate you and Philip and Mr. Wayne for helping us do this. We're happy to, to, to be here, and um, we're long-term owners, so, so we're a part of the community when we come. So we're excited to be here. Good to have you all here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
This ordinance has been presented today for the first reading and the council will vote on it uh, next week. Mr. Mr. President, since no one's here today and the gentleman's here, can we go ahead and ask for unanimous consent to go ahead and vote on this today, please? Second. Clear. Those in favor to consider the ordinance today at its first reading, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. I move to adopt so these gentlemen will have to come back and they can go ahead and do what they need to be doing on this property. Second. Clear. Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next Hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisance on property located at 1 at 1008 Slusher Avenue in District 2. Thomas Martin and American Jerome Finance being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Will you come to the... Would, good morning. Would you give us your your name and your address, please? My name is Thomas A. L. Martin. My residence address right now is uh, 901 AM Avenue, Gaston, Alabama. Okay. First, let me deal with this uh, American General. They do not have an interest in anything because I have paperwork here where it was transferred over to Bay West and it was paid off, okay? I have my paperwork right here, <clears throat> okay? Would anybody like to see it? Yeah, I'm sure. Second of all. Sir, can I ask you one question before you get a little bit going on here? Yes. Who is Faye West, you said? It Bay was. West. That's a finance company. Oh, okay. Out of Florida. I'm sorry. Started out with a man of America, General. You want to see? Okay. It. Now, the time I, my house is on 1008 Slush Avenue. It's being a nuisance. I admit that the hedges was up. So I got mad as fire yesterday when I realized they had come to court up here. And I went and cut those. I have some people that's going to do some uh, brick work for me to underpin my garage and stuff like that. One of the problems on Slush Avenue is that you have people breaking in people's homes and going through the homes, and if they have anything left in them, they throw it all over the yard and the porch. I've had my power. Uh, circuit stolen, wires cut, and my garage ceiling tore down. I retired in 2012 from the Department of Correction and I developed some problems with my eyes and my knees and it's kind of slowed me down, but now I'm getting back to where I can do some things. So I will be starting working on it because I'm working on one on Springfield. And I will be working on this one. What I'm doing as, as, as in the uh, council to give me to April to come out and see exactly what all I have finished and done to the house because it's not that much. I need painting a little bit. I need to repaint it. And I would also ask the council that once I finish it, that the police department be instructed to ride by and keep an eye on my house. I pay my taxes. I work hard for my house. And just because it's on Slusher Avenue don't mean we're not a part of the community. Not being nasty, but I'm one of the type of individuals that just talk direct straight to you. I will be working on my house, 
And I know that there might be some dislikes for an old man like me, 66 years old, to come up and talk to you direct as I am. But I'm doing it. The only tax I own it right now is the tax that is due now. I pay taxes on two properties. I had to move off of Slusher Avenue because of the drug infested. The house next door that they're messing with and I tearing down now should have been torn down before I left <coughs> because of what was going on. And now that my house is fading a little bit because it's being a neat painting and somebody has towed up and went in and towed up some stuff, I'm having to have to rush to do it. And I will do it. <clears throat> I'll pay somebody to do it and I'll do the work myself. I'm just straightforward. And I believe anybody that owns property or has anything that is theirs, they be straightforward with what they're saying. I'm a man. And I will take <coughs> care of it. I started working on that one down on Springfield. Added underpins, started cleaning the uh, weeds off the fence. I have eye problem. I had to take a shot in my eyes for many weeks. And during the summer, the sun was just too bright for me. So I went out yesterday and I started working. And I will be continuing to work on it. So I'm asking that the council give me to April to get some things straightened out on it. Are you satisfied with this? The attorney on on our on our uh, paperwork we have American Journal Finance. Was there a question, uh, attorney, that you had about that? Yes. Um, we're required to notify not only the property owner, but any mortgage holders that are on the property. And, and apparently, and I don't have my file with me, when we have a, a, uh, a title opinion done, yeah. uh, they identify any, any lien holders that, that are still of record. Now, what you showed me, you know, so really giving them notice does not, I mean, we're just giving them notice. So it, it has really no legal effect on you. Okay. I, uh, well, but I have noted down the, the where that instrument was recorded. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether the the uh, transfer from American General to Bay was also recorded. Yes. If that was not recorded, that might be why it still showed up as a possible lien on the title opinion. But I'll I'll correct that. I done a search on it myself, and it was not. The transfer was not listed. No, they didn't okay. have any record of it. Right. Well, you know, that's just having reading the fine print on there was yeah. that, that, that's that's the problem. But anyway, we'll correct that. But still, as far as any effect on you, yeah. I mean, it, it has not. Okay. Thank you. And I apologize to the board if I seem to be just stricken, just straight and direct. You have to understand the type of work that I've done in my life, and I'm just straightforward. And I hope you can appreciate it that a man can come to you and be straightforward with you without shooting you any bull. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Oh, what about the decision <laughs> to April? Uh, we, we have to finish the process of this and then you'll, you'll hear. Hmm. I said, we'll have to finish the process because I need to find out who uh, will speak in favor of this uh, abatement. Okay. Thank you. Does anyone wish to speak in favor? 
Madam President, I'm Brian Harbison with the Building Department. We filed this case in May of 2018. There have been no improvements to the property. We did send Mr. Martin a uh, copy of the, actually the original inspection sheet on May the 17th that listed the items that need to be taken care of, did not address anything uh, inside the house. Uh, what we were concerned about is what we talked about at length last week was just the appearance of the property. Um, in that letter, just to, uh, to bring the council up to speed, in that initial letter that sent to Mr. Martin, we also required by law to record that notice in the probate office. But in that letter, in the very first paragraph, it lists that if the owner disagrees with our finding uh, that, that there is a nuisance that exists on that property, there is an appeal process. To my knowledge, uh, Mr. Martin chose not to go through that appeal process. To my knowledge, I only heard from him yesterday. This case started in May. Um, I can tell you for a fact there has not been any permit applied for or obtained during this period, we would have gladly foregone the meeting today and issued a permit, let him do what needs to be done. And I agree there are several issues on Slusser, but also there are at least four vacant lots consecutive across the street from this property where we have removed nuisances. We are serious about what we do. And I stand here week after week on behalf of the neighbors that actually live next door to these properties. So based on the information I've given you today, I'm asking for a resolution to abate this nuisance. Thank you. What is the pleasure of the council? I move to abate. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Hold on. I think we asked for a seven-day yeah, table. Seven day we, asked for a, we asked for a seven-day. The uh, councilman, this is in Councilman uh, uh, Williams' district, and he's not here today, and so he asked us to uh, delay it for seven days, and after, after seven days, then he will get with, he will get with you uh, to, uh, and to make a decision on whether we will go forward with this. What the citizens of uh, uh, Gaston, and, and this is my comment, when there's, when, when there's a nuisance that comes to us, it's because the people in the neighborhood have complained about the nuisance. It's not the city council. We don't go out looking, but the neighbors call and let us know that this is not what they want to walk outside of their house and look at. And then we have to look at it, and I look at it like this. Do I want this next door to me? Do I want to walk out here and look at it? So uh, at this particular time, we're, we're asking on behalf of uh, Councilman Williams to a seven-day notice. Second. Who actually made the motion? Council President. Okay. After, uh, when, you, when we get through with our council meeting, would you talk to uh, Mr. Harbison? Well, I got, I got some but I've got seven days. And Councilman William will get in contact with you. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Those in favor to table the resolution for seven days, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for seven days. Our next public hearing is a resolution on an abatement to nuisance on property located at 921 Avenue Elf in District 3. This is the estate of Laureen Harrell, Cusa Federal Saving and Loan, Lori Jean Burton, Dexter Dwayne Harrell, Vincent O'Neill Harrell, USP Atlanta Stanley Jerome Harrell, and Dexter Dwayne Harrell, and others in care of Dexter Harrell being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Your name and address. Dexter Harrell, uh, 307 Harden Circle. Uh, this is a property that uh, belonged to my mother. Um, 
she took ill uh, about 17 years ago, so actually moved in with me. So there wasn't much activity that was going on at the home. And during that time, there was a little bit of a, a declination to it. Uh, but we just asked the council for just for a little time. We, we do want to preserve the property. This is a property that uh, is a home uh, property for us, property we grew up in. We just want a little time to uh, um, do the necessary work. There's not a lot of work that needs to be done on the property. Uh, maybe some painting, maybe a little bit of eve work, uh, <clears throat> whatever the case may be. But we uh, just asked for a little time. I know it's the winter months. So uh, the outside work is going to be done in the cold climate. So uh, hopefully the council will take that into consideration. But uh, we really just want a little time to, to preserve this property, you know. And uh, we will do the work to it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Is there one, anyone who would like to speak in favor? Mr. Harbison, you're on. Sorry. Madam President, we started this case and filed it in October of 2017. There have been no improvements to the property. There was a building permit taken out by Mr. Harrell in January of this year. There's no work been done on that property. Again, this case involves the exterior only, did not um, include any inspections of the interior. Again, what we were asking was that the issues, minor or great, be addressed on the outside. That has not happened. Uh, so presenting that to you today, I'm asking for a resolution to abate this nuisance. Thank you. Are there any, uh, what is the pleasure of the council? Madam President, I believe uh, Councilman Worthy had asked for a 30 day table on this. All right. Second. Clerk, are they in this discussion? Yes, Mr. Harrell can, uh, I know your dad for a long, long, long time. He was really, he really enjoyed that house and he would really want it to be put back like it was. Me and your dad worked together for a long time, so they gave you 30 days here, so you might can start on it, you think? Yes, sir. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for 30 days, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days. Our next public hearing is a resolution or an abatement of nuisance located on 1520 Malone Street in District 3, and this is Clifford Twyman being the last known owner. Is there anyone to speak in opposition to this resolution? <laughs> Is there anyone to speak in favor? Madam President, we filed this case in March of this year. The uh, case actually involved a, a burn structure that was demoed by the owner. What you see in the picture remains, which is the uh, front foundation and a portion of the front porch. Um, I have had no contact with the owner. What I'm asking today is, is for a resolution to abate the nuisance. With that resolution, we would send public works out to, uh, to complete the demo work. Thank you. What is the pledge of the council? Move to abate. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution or an abatement of nuisance on property located at 402 Madison Circle, and this is in District 6, Scott Cottle being the last known owners. Is there anyone to speak in opposition? Is there anyone to speak in favor? Madam President, we filed our case in September of 2015. Uh, there was a building permit taken out in March of 2016. What you see in the picture is uh, what, what exists there today, what the neighbors have had to, uh, to look at for the past several years. We're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance.
What is the pleasure of the council? Move to abate. Second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, this house is long time coming, needed to be. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our final public hearing is a resolution or an abatement to nuisance located on property at 2311 Sampson Avenue, and this is in District 6 also. Terry Bonds, First Family Financial Service, Inc., and the state of Alabama being the last known owners. Is there anyone to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone to speak in favor? Madam President, we filed this case in July of this year. There have been no improvements. There are no permits to improve. And we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What is the uh, pleasure of the council? Move to abate. Second. Any discussion? Yes, Mr. President. There's uh, three or four more houses on that same street that should be coming to us before much longer. That's in the dilapidated shape also. All right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. This is a resolution authorizing agreement with Jones, Blair, and Waldrop, and Tucker. And this is a plan and a specification to install American with Disabilities Act a, a compliance handicap ramp, ramp in East Gaston area. And the amount of this is $34,730. Will the, the chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, Madam President, I just want to make it clear. I, I'm planning on recusing myself from this vote. I have a family member who works in the accounting department at JBWT. Um, I want to make it clear that this will be done on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm trying to, uh, to learn a little bit more about what the proper etiquette is and the ethical standard is here. But uh, for the sake of this, until I get those answers, I'm going to recuse myself from this vote. All right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? And we're recording an abstention. Motion carries to adopt. All right. Is there any new business? Madam Chairman, I have, uh, I have one. I would like to bring to the attention of the council uh, the appointment of Timothy Simmons uh, in District 1. Uh, to be appointed to uh, as an appointing member to the Water Works and Sewer Board for a term expiring on November the 1st, 2023. Second. I would ask for unanimous uh, consent. No, you asked for adoption oh, I, now. I'm sorry. I'd ask We're for adoption. adoption now. We're Second. Still, We're actually still on consent. Um, right. Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, <coughs> let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Now you move for adoption. All right, I'd like to move for adoption. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Mr. President, I have one, please. It's uh, from Legal Department 2018 664, requested by the Engineering Department. It's a resolution approving agreement with EELFS Company PC to provide an inspection report, constructions, drawings, and a repair budget for the old Broad Street Bridge, bridge rehab project. It's budgeted for $52,395. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today mm -hmm. under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move to adopt. Second. Are there any discussion? <clears throat> I believe the uh, events, when this is passed and uh, the bridge is being 
inspected, there will be some closures, but the uh, public will be notified later for the closures. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Any more new business? Hey, Madam President, I have an ordinance, uh, 665, amending city code section 34-33 regarding voting places. Has for unanimous consent to consider. Second. Those in favor to consider the ordinance today as an item of new business, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. Yeah, I move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Yes, at this time I'd like to ask City Clerk Alvin Elson to go over these voting places, please. All right. The city had discontinued use of Convention Hall, which has been a polling place in our elections for a long time, a number of years. Uh, recently, the uh, Etowah County Commission uh, made a decision to move the polling place for uh, county, state, federal elections to the downtown Civic Center. And so um, the council members that this affected their residents are uh, in agreement that that's a, a good location for the city as well. So we are mo uh, moving the polling places for the C box of District 4 as well as the A box of District 5. And uh, we'll have an election that's coming up in January. And so this gets this change in place so that our advertisements, uh, when we advertise the election and give notice of that, it will reflect the downtown Civic Center, which is located 623 Broad Street. Okay. Madam President, man, I just want to clarify because this does affect my constituents. Uh, th this is specifically pertaining to municipal election activity. Mm -hmm. Um, it, now it works out that state, county, state, and federal also have chosen the Civic Center as one polling location, but it's my understanding that county, state, and federal have moved the Tabernacle polling location now to Walnut Park. But for the purposes of municipal elections, the, the Tabernacle voting location will still be open. Yes. Okay, thank you. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Department reports, we have them. Good day, everyone. Um, I just wanted to come and talk to you all about some exciting events. Parks and Recreation is hosting and partnering with uh, through to finish out November and throughout December. First of all, today is the last day to vote for the Levitt, Levitt Amp Grant, which is a music grant that we're partnering with DGI. If everyone would go online and uh, vote for DGI to win this, then the City Gas and DGI will be partnering to bring even more musical events this summer here. It is a $25,000 matching grant. Uh, so we're very excited about the possibility of getting it right now. We're on 15th place. We need to stay 15th or higher to get awarded this grant. This week, or tonight, we also start Paws on the Falls. Paws on the Falls is an extension of Christmas at the Falls, but it is a pet-friendly event held up at Nakalua Falls Park. A dollar from each ticket sold tonight will go to help um, pets that are in need in Gadsden and surrounding areas. Uh, tickets are starting to be on sale at 4 p.m. Gates will open at 5 p.m. Last entry into the park will be at 9 p.m. We do ask people to take care of their pets. They will have to be on leash and need to be picked up uh, afterwards. The train will not run tonight and the animal habitat will be closed. Thanksgiving night is our opening night for Christmas at the falls up at Nakalua Falls Park and Campground. Again, tickets will go on sale each night at 4 p.m. Gates will open at 5 p.m., last entry at 9 p.m., and gates will close at 10 p.m. each night until December 30th, excluding Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, where we'll share time with our families also. So uh, tickets can be um, purchased 
on site for six dollars or they can be purchased online now for 750 and you get to skip the line to purchase your ticket and just enter the park santa does arrive friday and he will be with us until december 23rd so he can go up to the north pole to start getting ready to deliver all the presents um upcoming events in uh december is our youth basketball jamboree it will be the first weekend in December. It will be held in multiple gyms. We will have the Christmas tree lighting on December 7th at 4.30 to 6 p.m. here at, at City Hall. We have Mistletoe Market at 5th Street, Mar 5th Street Market December 7th through 9th. The Christmas parade will be located on Broad Street December 8th. We'll have Youth Basketball League starting December 15th. And we'll have the Christmas parade lo located on Tuscaloosa Street December 15th. We also have multiple uh, rentals out for, to celebrate the holidays for people's uh, family traditions and reunions. Thank you. Jen, do you have uh, flyers or information where all of these dates can be uh, passed out so that the, everybody will know about them? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we do have flyers that we're posting in all of our facilities and uh, other city facilities. Also, uh, City of Gaston Facebook page is updated, and the website should be updated, too. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, if I may, Jen, if you'd stay there for a minute, if you please. I was up at the campgrounds uh, a couple weeks ago, and I just want to come in. One of your workers up there, Bo Hunt, there was a man that came in that night. It was about 7 o'clock. I got stung on his tongue by a wasp, and Bo Hunt exactly knew what to tell him to do, where to tell him to go, and everything to do, and I just want to recognize him for being a good worker because that man was really scared what happened to him, and he told him exactly how to get to the hospital, so you might want to pass it on to Mr. Hunt. He was a well, we have a lot of staff that do great, Bo's one, and a lot of our campground staff and, and the falls uh, staff, multiple recreation Centers have been pitching in to get ready for all the events coming up and helping with all of our citizens and any needs that they, but I will definitely pass that along. Yeah, he just stuck out to me that day when I was up there. He was kind awesome. to that gentleman. Okay. Okay. Remarks by the mayor and council. <coughs> mayor, you have any remarks today? Councilman Back. Just happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Councilman Wilson. Well, I, will, uh, I would like to recognize the Parks and Recreation Department and, uh, and all the people who, who participated in the Brews on Broad program this past Friday. I went by there. That was a fantastic event. I bet you there was at least 500 people in those two facilities. It was very well run. Uh, everyone was on their best behavior, and uh, I think it was just a... A, a general testament to what those types of events can do for our community. And also, I'd like to publicly recognize the Gadsden Runners Club for the great work that they did on the City of Champions Half Marathon this weekend. That event started and ended at our facility on Henry Street. Uh, there were well over 300 registered uh, participants in that race. I spoke to individuals from Washington State, Virginia, um, New Jersey, uh, and, and countless individuals from inside the state of Alabama, from Auburn, Opelika, uh, Anniston, Oxford, uh, Florence, Muscle Shoals, Decatur, Huntsville, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, all that were here for, for no other reason than to participate in that race. And that's a great testament to, uh, to what this community can do when we work together. So kudos to both of those organizations and, and the, and the uh, tourism department and the parks and recreation department for the role they played in those events. Councilman Cannon. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to remind everybody the 7th and 8th of December from 6 to 8, we will have Santa at the gazebo on Wall Street. There will be a hot chocolate candy for the kids. Come out and you make your picture with Santa Claus. He'll be there those that Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8 at night. Also, I want to uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a safe Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much and just watch a lot of football. And I want to talk about a leaf season right quick. won't take but a second. Leaves are falling slower this year. So we've just now started running two trucks. And hopefully by the mid-December we'll have all of our trucks running. And always remember, we can't get these leaves up until they fall. That's all I have. Councilman Reed. Yes, I just wanted to touch on the, uh, the money that was raised the other night at venue with the Love Center. Uh, we participated, or I think we were involved <laughs> in that to somewhat. The, the bad news was that we lost. The good news was that in two and a half hours, I answered one question. 
<laughs> I thought that was extremely nice. You were about as excited. <laughs> but we did come in second place, and I'm still wondering how we did that. I, don't I didn't know. answer any either. I ain't got a clue how we even came in. I don't even know why I, we I know Alva answered a <laughs> special question. That's why we got oh, in second. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. I went home and beat my wife. I took one for the team. You did. I would just like to say be safe for Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving. And also uh, be safe, and that way the police department can enjoy Thanksgiving too. I like to appreciate them because uh, they work hard. They, they have busy weekends and they have busy uh, days. A lot of people think that, you know, I know that they say that they call them and they don't come. But if you know anybody out there that qualifies and wants to be a police officer, uh, just uh, they have applications, and I'm sure Captain Keenan will be glad. He may even have some on him now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, just want to let them know that we appreciate, we appreciate them because there are things that are going on all over this country uh, that policemen that are doing things to people, and we... You know, we don't have a perfect system here, but just want them to know that we appreciate them and appreciate what they do. And, yes, they're busy. And call them if you need them because, yes, we're all taxpayers. If nothing else, I ask for Ms. a jury. President, yeah. Ms. President. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Due to the Thanksgiving holidays, Thursday's garbage will be collected tomorrow. Friday's pickup will not change, and also be aware that the landfill will be closed Thursday and Friday, but it will reopen Monday, November 26th. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I ask for adjournment. Adjourned. <coughs>